hello and welcome back today we're gonna do something a little bit different but today we're doing top 10 must-have items at trader joe's which yes i'm obsessed with trader joe's it is one of my favorite stores and i think there's actually no shame in that because it is honestly just like a really fun grocery store to go to without further ado i will be talking going through a Trader Joe's haul of items that I just recently bought and basically the mindset behind it is if I could leave Trader Joe's with only 10 items like if there was like a 10 item limit these would be the 10 items that I bought or if like items got discontinued at Trader Joe's these are like the 10 items that I couldn't live without so I'm going to show you guys I'm going to go through them in detail and you know there might be some bonuses might be some surprises throughout the way so let's get started item number one if you know me you've probably heard me talk about it and it is the it is the celery juice so this i don't know if this is a well-known item at trader joe's but it's one of my favorites so i like to think i'm healthy sometimes this makes me feel healthy so i drink this trait trader this celery juice that is this lovely green color um, it makes you feel healthy. All there is that's in here is celery juice and a little bit of lemon juice to add flavor. It kind of tastes like grass low-key, but I don't know. If you're like into healthy eating, I don't think, like, I don't think it's gross. I know people that do think it's gross, but I recommend this because this is $2.50 at Trader Joe's for this, like, one serving bottle. But if you go to, like, these juice places that are very famous, it's literally 5 to $10. So you're getting a really good deal highly recommend if you're into healthy eating or like to pretend you're into healthy eating like me 10 out of 10 would recommend so the next item is a little bit different kind of hidden i feel like some of the sweets are a little hard to find at least in my trader joe's but these are the the crepe wafer cookies so these are these little like triangles like in the picture and I don't know if they're made of crepes, they kind of just taste like wafer cookies. Um, they're not too sweet, they're like buttery, so they taste super good. I recommend them in ice cream. Um, yeah, I think they're just like a really good snack. They're super good. Highly recommend. So, these. It's another cookie. And these are the chocolate hazelnut cookies. Like these little sandwiches. And so they have like powdered sugar on top. It's like a hazelnut cookie and then there's chocolate in the middle. Sometimes you don't get as much chocolate, I'm not gonna lie. But I just really like hazelnut, so I really like the taste of these. Um, they're like, like these are like the more not sweet snack. And this is like sweet. Like I eat like one of these with my coffee. They're super good. If you like hazelnut, I think you'll like these. Another. I guess we're in like the sweets category. Another sweet item is the soft and juicy dry dried mango. So there's actually two types of dried mango at Trader Joe's and I made the mistake of getting the wrong one. So one is like not sweet and it'll say like unsweetened or something on it. I don't like it. It just kind of tastes like tree bark to me. It's just like a chewy dried fruit. This one though is soft and juicy so it is sweet and I think it literally tastes like a starburst or like a fruit roll up but it's a dried mango so obviously it's a lot healthier for you and highly recommend they're really good they taste like candy but super good sweet snack as well which i guess i got a lot of sweet things okay next so this one's a little bit of a bonus because i said they'd be top 10 um this is more of a category versus a specific item and Sorry, but you get some bonus things in there. Don't come at me. Um, so it's actually the flatbreads. At Trader Joe's. So I have two with me. This one is burrata, prosciutto, and arugula. And this one is a French style flatbread with mushrooms and cheese. So these are just two that I have in my house right now. But I also had the arugula pizza, but it's more like a flatbread style because it's like thinner. And then the truffle flatbread is also really good if you like truffles and mushrooms. So I think that Trader Joe's does a really good job with their flatbreads. I kind of like this like rectangular shaped ones. They're kind of fun. They're like just a really fun appetizer. 
and then they have ones like this that are a bigger size and they even have like i think the arugula one's bigger than this so it's more like pizza sized but i think all of them are super tasty that i've had haven't really been disappointed so i highly recommend checking out their flatbreads any of them like the frozen food section are super good so okay this is another of it's a more recent find for me probably in the past few months um but it is one of my favorite things it's super basic sorry can't avoid it but it is the everything but the bagel yogurt dip this is what it looks like on the side so it's just like this white yogurt dip so it's kind of like a cream cheese i think that's like what it's supposed to be imitating but it has everything but the bagel seasoning in it and then it also has sea salt, poppy seeds, garlic, and onion. So I think it's like a really good base. It's a lot lighter than cream cheese. I also do like cream cheese. Um, but I think this might be a little, a little bit healthier, healthier of an alternative just because it's yogurt. Um, and yogurt's like good for you, good for stomach bacteria. Um, so this is one of the things I recommend. You can't find it anywhere else. It's like a Trader Joe item. Um, and I think the everything seasoned is like a Trader Joe's thing. And I've seen some imitations, but it's not like more expensive so i honestly think it's just like worth the buy pretty good size you know just do it and i guess now we're back on sweet things so can you tell that i have a sweet tooth and i love sweets yeah okay so this is the lemon bars the lemon bars so I'm honestly not like the biggest fan of like lemon flavored desserts so I was surprised that I really liked this my parents bought this and they're little lemon bars pretty similar to probably like the lemon bars that you would normally make which I normally don't like but I really like these like you keep them in the fridge they're cool they're kind of like refreshing um maybe I haven't had a lot of lemon bars in my life but I feel like I've never really liked lemon bars until I found these if you like lemon you'll probably love them okay and off to salty we go so this is kind of a unique thing and might not be up everyone's taste palette um but it is the plantain chips little these little guys um so they're chips made from plantains and i'm pretty sure the only ingredients are plantains sunflower oil and salt so there's no like added things in here i plantains i think are pretty healthy so like that's a good thing um if you don't like plantains you probably won't like these but if you do like plantains these are so easy like you can eat so many and i think even if you don't like plantains you could like these because they kind of just taste like potato chips like they're just like a more flavor flavorful potato chip i would say but I really like these. I think they're like a really good thing to snack on. This is a new find for me. I actually found it last time I went to Trader Joe's and I decided to try it. And I hadn't heard about it on the internet beforehand, but I guess it's like making its rounds on the internet. And it might be like recently released to store, so your store might not have it, but I think it's like coming soon. So it is, it's called Magnificious. 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 So it is. This little bottle of sauce says a tangy sauce of secret proportions. So what I've heard this being compared to is In-N-Out sauce. I've never been to In-N-Out, so I don't know if it's like comparable, but it kind of tastes like like the secret sauces at restaurants, like the secret sauce at Chick-fil-A or the sauce that's on a Big Mac at McDonald's. I would compare it to that, and I think it's really good. Lately, I've been kind of eating it with anything like super good with french fries that's what i've been eating it with the most i've been putting it on pulled pork sandwiches which is kind of weird but i think it tastes good because we didn't have barbecue sauce so it's just like i don't know would recommend i think it's really good okay and we are at our last item so i know this isn't for everyone but some people might really appreciate this and it is the soy chorizo soy chorizo so if you are vegan or trying to eat plant-based or just like to eat random vegan things like me like i'm not vegan but sometimes i like to eat plant-based products um i would recommend this i think it's a pretty good 
like alternative i love chorizo in general like i love just like regular meat chorizo but i think this does like a pretty good job at imitating it i like to put it on nachos or burrito or like a quesadilla like how you would with like regular chorizo um but yeah i think it's a super good alternative it's really tasty yeah a good alternative if you're vegan trying to go vegan or just enjoy random soy things so this is my last food item but wait there's more so i actually picked up some alcoholic beverages as well for those that are above 21 and i will show those so i just want to say that i think trader joe's has a great wine selection i don't really buy a lot of hard liquor um and i've tried a lot of them so i couldn't really like choose which ones were my favorite so i kind of went with just like two unique drinks that i really like um and that i've actually recently found and i think most people who have a similar palette to me would also enjoy so the first thing i'm going to show two items so these are two bonuses to the 10 so this is just like a different section so it is this this prosecco so it's just in this bottle and yeah, it doesn't really say anything about it i'm not like a wine connoisseur i just know what i like and i think it's pretty good and i was actually recommend recommended to me by the guy who works at the liquor store at trader joe's and i was looking for um like champagne or prosecco for mimosas and he said this is like their best one it's also like 5.99 or 6.99 so it's also a really good price um i think it's great for mimosas i also just drank it straight as like a prosecco also super great so i highly recommend it's cheap it's good and it's easy always pick up like two bottles because you know just in case and then the final item of this haul which is also another alcoholic beverage is one of my favorite things so it's called simply wines and it is like a wine cocktail a wine like cooler they're in this cute little packaging all of them are packaged like super nicely so there's four in here these aren't like the cheapest i think it's probably like five bucks for four i don't know it's not like a super value pack like white claws or trulies um but this is a peach like bellini flavor and i think it's super good i actually recently tried this one with shadog with shibani um and i really like it i usually get the mango one the mango one's also really good and i think there's two more flavors at my trader joe's which i haven't tried yet but i will let you guys know how i like those when i do try them they're really easy to drink perfect for summer and i just really like the packaging the aesthetics really get me i think that is that's everything that i would buy if i could only choose 10 items at trader joe's i literally went to trader joe's the other day and i was like okay if i could only walk out with 10 items these are the ones that i would get and you know that changes periodically as i like find new items try new things or like different trader joe's have different um offerings so don't come at me if your favorite item isn't in this um i would say let me know what your favorite items are down below in the comments so i'd love to try out new things and see what trader joe's has to offer and yes i'm obsessed with trader joe's so that is it for my little trader joe's haul i will list the name of all of the products down below and feel free to try them at trader joe's let me know what you think don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're interested in more content bye everybody